المنطقة هرقت وكلها انتهت سقطت 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 كركر سقطت ما سقطت صبنا سقطت ما سقطت صبنا عين الدكاكين دي عين الدكاكين دي والله نحرق اي حاجة ده عين الدكاكين دي النقطة عين النقطة النقطة ذات اللي قد حقها بتاعت المشترك انا المشترك ناس خايلين ذاتك قاعدين مع الناس هنا ما ينفوا معانا نهائي ذات المشترك لو دائرة تعدل بالصاح لا ما تجيب مع فلاتة ابدا تجيب مع المواطن فقط ان احنا مواطنين فلاتة دي المواطنين لكن ما في بلدهم عين الطواحين دي وعين حق واحد بيقول يا دايرين ثراعي عمك محمد عين التجاني هاي دي المعقات يا دايرين the head of the UN mission in Sudan, Volker Pethe, said on Tuesday that the violence in the vast Darfur region of Western Sudan could constitute crimes against humanity. Fighting has been raging in Sudan since mid-April between the army commanded by General Abdel Fatal al-Burhan and the uh, paramilitary rapid support forces RSF of General Mohamed Hamdan Dagaro. They are mainly concentrated in the capital Darf Khartoum and in Darfur, a region where local militias, tribal fighters and armed civilians have joined the clashes. The conflict has claimed more than 1,800 lives in the country, according to the NGO ACLED, and displaced 2 million people, according to the UN. As the situation in Darfur continues to deteriorate, I'm particularly concerned about the situation in El Janena, West Darfur, where the violence has taken an ethnic dimension, said the UN envoy in a statement. The large-scale attacks on civilians based on their ethnic origins, alleged committed by Arab militias and armed men in RSF uniforms, are very worrying and, if proven, could constitute crimes against humanity, he warned. Last week, the Sudanese government declared Mr. Pethe's persona Nanglata accusing him of being biased in the conflict. But Stephanie Dujalik, a spokesman for the UN Secretary General, said his status remained unchanged. While several truces have not been applied, NGOs are reporting a deterioration in the humanitarian situation in Khartoum and Darfur. What is happening in El Janina and Khartoum? further east must give rise to an international investigation. Darfur Governor Mini Minawi, a former rebel leader now close to the army, said on Twitter on Saturday. In the early 2000s, General Dagalo, head of the Janjawid militia, conducted a scorched earth policy in Darfur on the orders of the then dictator Omar al-Bashir. The war left around 300,000 people dead and nearly 2.5 million displaced, according to the UN. In 2013, the Janjaweed officially gave birth to the RISF, the army's paramilitary auxiliaries. Generals al burhan and Dagaro joined forces in the 2021 patch to oust the civilians with whom they had shared power since the fall of Bashir in 2019. But differences then arose and in the absence of an agreement on integrating the RISF into the army, degenerated into war. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.